Hey guys. Um, okay, so real quick, I'm gonna show you guys how to strip a cup. Um, I've told you guys in my videos, my dog, um, I have told y'all in my videos that don't be discouraged if you mess up. It's okay. And don't throw the cups away. Okay, you're wasting so much money by doing that. Um, you can reuse them. So, what you're going to need here is, um, you're going to need a can of this. It's called Clean Strip. You can get it from Walmart for like five, I think it's five eighty six or five sixty eight, something like that. Um, and it is very potent. Okay. Make sure you're wearing gloves. Make sure you, if you get it on your skin, immediately, immediately wash it off with cold water, not hot water. Okay. Hot only activates it more. Cold water, cold water and soap. Okay. Um, that's it if you get it on yourself. Okay. Because it will burn and you will, it, it will, it will burn your skin. Um, but it works on these cups without a whole lot of, um, of effort. So I've got a cup. This is my first pencil cup I ever made. Um, it was messed up. It's got colors blending and everything. So I'm going to strip this one and you'll need your clean strip and then just cheap aluminum foil this is they got for 10 for ten dollars or whatever it's like uh 25 square feet worth of it and so it's gonna cost you and, and this can will do mm, three to four 20 ounces maybe more if um if it's not a glitter one um and then you'll need a small little space heater okay um what you're going to do is you're going to get a nice, good, big piece of foil. Um, okay? Nice, large piece. You're going to put it on the ground. You're going to lay your cup on that. Right? Dead set in the middle. Okay? Then you're going to stand. You're going to crouch down. I do it on the floor because I just, I don't want to get it on anything else. Um, and you're just going to spray the cup. Make sure you're wearing gloves, like I said. Um, you can see how I'm spraying it. And then I turn the foil so that the cup rolls a little bit. And then I spray more. You get all sides of it, top, bottom, front, back, up, all that stuff. Okay, and then I'm going to pull my foil so that it rolls a little bit so that I can get more. Okay, now I'm going to take my foil and I'm going to roll it like a burrito. Covering the bottom, covering the top. Okay, just like this. And... Don't squeeze it too tight. Don't make it too tight. Okay. And then you're going to take another piece of foil because it's going to start coming out the sides if you break the foil at all. Take another piece of foil, put it over the bottom like this. Okay. Flip it up upside or the other way. Take another small piece of foil, cover it over the top just like this. Okay. So it should be fully encased in the foil. And then you're gonna take your space heater and you're gonna set it in front of it, turn it up, turn it on high. And when it starts heating this up, when the uh, stripper starts heating up, you'll hear it expanding because it's expanding the epoxy and it's expanding the, um, the glitter and everything. And so you're gonna let this heat up and in about 15 minutes, turn it and then, um, and then wait another 15 minutes, turn it again, another 15, turn it again, about an hour. Um, and then once it's sat for an hour, then when you open the foil up, everything's basically just going to start falling off. Okay. At that point you can use your exacto knife 
to start lifting it up and just peeling it off okay and then once you have peeled it all off then you're just going to clean it you can spray it again to get all the residue off and just leave it without the foil just um sitting and then once i'm listening to it i can hear it starting to expand um once you've cleaned it all off, spray it down and clean it with rubbing alcohol, and then you're, you're done. Um, now, if you've got a lot of coats of epoxy, it may take a couple of times of you wrapping it in the foil and spraying it, and that's okay. Um, now, don't let it stay in this foil too long with one coat of the, um, the stripper on it. And then if it starts to cool off, then it's just going to harden everything again. And then you're not going to, um, it's not going to come off as easy. The best way to do it is to peel it off after an hour. Um, any longer than six hours, you're going to have to redo it. You're going to have to respray it and refoil it and everything else. And then it's just going to be a pain. You're going to get frustrated. So, um, an hour is what I say. Um, and then it'll just peel off afterwards. So, there you go, and you save yourself so much time, so much money, um, and then you can see that it's okay, it's okay if you mess up, it can be taken off and redone, try it again, it's not a big deal, um, I know for dang sure that I have failed countless times, I've got so many cups to strip, it's ridiculous. And at first I started to feel defeated. And then I realized that you can't learn if you don't try. And if you stop trying after once, then who says that you couldn't be the best at what that design or that technique? Who says you couldn't be the best if you just would have tried again? Um... So yeah, strip your cups, start over. Don't feel defeated or wasting money or like my husband gets mad because I would mess up so I'd go buy another cup. Well, I could have just spent an hour and stripped it and then I wouldn't have spent any extra money. Um, so I can definitely tell you ladies that your husbands will be so much happier because you're spending less on new cups. So anyways, um, yeah, so there you go. Uh, easily fixed, easily taken off, and easily saved money. You guys have a great day, and um, don't forget to like and subscribe and share, and visit us at Team Brandos on Facebook, and also um, YouTube, Twitter, all that stuff. We're on all of it, and yeah, that's it. So, you guys have a great day. Bye. Mm-hmm.